Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded video where today we are hopping in and I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock every single one of the mutations in the game and if they're worth it and if they're helpful. So let's go through, let's talk about each and every single one of them. I'm going to be going top down just because I thought it'd be fun and different. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now this first one is Little Fist. Little Fist, when you go ahead and equip this one, it literally makes it so your melee attacks are that much more powerful. So say you wanted to go around and just start punching things, Little Fist makes it so you do more damage with your fists. That's what it does. 40 kills with your fists will unlock level 1, then it goes to 100, and then 200 to get it all the way up to level 3. Next is Barbarian. Barbarian is a perk that helps you out with your uh, two-handed weaponry. So say you had something like this prod smacker that's right here. It's going to go ahead and make it so as you're going through and fighting things like Wendell here, um, as you're going through and fighting them, a pink haze will happen around the outside of your screen. This means you've now been enraged, and during that time you will do bonus damage with two-handed weapons but be warned when you do that there's always the chance that you are not going to be able to perfect block anymore so be careful with that one guys two-handed weapons are cool and barbarians cool but it comes with quite the cost if you're not careful okay going back over here into statuses let's go down we got daredevil guys you get this one by unlocking with a burgle chip through burgle 2500 raw science what that's going to end up doing is it's going to make it so you can fall further distances without taking as much damage or any damage at all all right natural explorer this one's a fun one natural explorer is all about movement speed natural explorer allows you to run faster and well longer what it does it's it's just faster it, it's just faster not longer but it is faster and how to unlock this one is by going around and finding different locations throughout the yard whether it is the undershed entrance this little undershed sinkhole and all these other little triangles that you see the more of these that you find the more tiers you're going to get in natural explorer and that is going to give you the quickness and be able to make it so you move that much faster okay this next one is really awesome but it doesn't have as much use now in game maybe it's good for distraction points but mom jeans when you use mom jeans what this one does is it allows you to actually summon up tiny little spiders whenever you're running around and fighting things you get this by killing the brood mother um it's helpful. The little spiders can pull aggro from time to time. But to be honest, I feel like that there is better perks in the game. So if you want something that's going to summon something, yes, you can use it. And Stereo Stranger will do around the same thing. But are they super helpful? I'll leave it up to you guys. Okay, let's go over and let's go back through some more because I want to hit Apex Predator. Apex Predator is a phenomenal perk. I love this perk. This perk is made purely for all of us who love to use the Broodmother Club or the Mantis Scythe. So the Club of the Mother Demon or the Scythe of, the, of Blossoms is what it is. With the Broodmother Club, what this does is it applies a specific poison to the Broodmother Club that is extraordinarily deadly whenever you swing it. And to the Mantis Scythe, it allows you to swing faster and faster and faster using the Mantis Scythe as long as you are hitting uninterrupted. So when you have a Mantis Scythe, you'll start by swinging around this fast, right? But then by the time you're done swinging it, you're personally like chop, 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 with a two-handed weapon that is insanely fast and with the crits that it can throw out if the crits were fixed, with the crits it could throw out makes it a super powerful perk for you to have on if you're ever going to use the Club of the Mother Demon or the Mantis Scythe. Let's get back into the next perk, though, over here. The next one we have is Chopper. Chopper is all about, well, fighting with an axe. It is making axes more powerful. The same thing as Little Fist or Barbarian. 40 kills is going to get you the first level of it, and it just goes up from there to 100 and 200. This literally just makes it so your axes do more damage. Same thing with Blade Master, but instead of axes, it's swords, so it's going to make your swords do that much more damage. Same thing. 40, 100, and 200 kills in order to unlock these. You can literally go through and kill 100 mites with a sword, and you would unlock this to tier 2. Grassmaster. Grassmaster is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Grassmaster is all about chopping down grass. I think it's 50, 200, and 500 grass planks in order to get it to, to grass harvest speed level 3. But it literally does as it says. It makes it so you can ch chop down grass faster. So, helpful tip if you're looking to build to, is to use that perk right there. So, it's a good one, but only if you're building. 
Mertine! Mertine is fantastic. This is a great perk for you. It has one level. You get this by going through and discovering underwater locations. And what it does is it gives you a minor swim speed bonus and junior diver, allowing you to have even more oxygen underwater. There's going to be a build that's coming out by the end of the weekend, guys, that is going to be going through and showing you guys how to get like 700 seconds of oxygen for you guys to really get down into the pond and start doing some exploring. This one, I like it, but if you're not in the pond, it's not useful. So only use this one if you're going to go swimming, but don't forget your guild tube still. Okay. Mithridism. This one's a pain in the butt to get to because you gotta kill wolf spiders in order to get it. But what does it do? It literally makes you poison resistant. So that's awesome. Allowing yourself to be more poison resistant against those wolf spiders is going to be a bonus for you. It doesn't do anything for the Black Widow Venom, but it does help you in the Broodmother fight with the Broodmother's Venom. So in order to get this one, you need to kill one, five, and ten wolf spiders, I believe it is, or it's one, three, and five. One of one of those two. Um, I didn't. I don't have the exact calculation since 1.0 came out. But nonetheless, if you go through and you fight a bunch of wolf spiders, you will be able to unlock that perk. And with that perk, it's going to make the Broodmother easier, it's going to make Wolf Spiders easier, and you're generally going to have a better time whenever you're fighting really any of the spiders. I think it also gives you resistance to the Orb Weaver Jr.'s Venom that it has. Okay, going on down underneath Mitchellism, we have Corporate Kickback. Now guys, this one's going to be a spoiler. I would say pause or skip the video. I had about 30 seconds if you don't want to know about Corporate Kickback. Okay, I've given you time to click away. Now you're here to hear it. Corporate kickback you get by going into the Oak, the uh, Moldark Castle and fighting Director Schmechter, a robot that is in there. Once you defeat him, you will unlock Corporate Kickback. Corporate Kickback, what this does is it literally starts converting blocked attack energies to make it so you can do a large lifesteal on your next attack. So as you're going through and blocking, you'll slowly build up that block bar that's over there. And then when you finally hit, you will do a large large amount of lifesteal, thus healing your character. Helpful? Yes. Hard to get? Extraordinarily. You have to build a bridge all the way over into Muldark and then climb all the way down there. Don't forget that you have to have Wendell first. Okay, now, now that we're done doing that, spoilering over, let's go through and let's talk about Smasher. Smasher is the same thing as all of these ones right here. It is 40 kills with a hammer. It's going to unlock Smasher for you. Widow Wizard, this is the same thing, but it gives you a different bonus because like Smasher, Blade Master, Chopper, Barbarian, and Little Fist, all of those are going to give you additional damage on 40 kills to 100 kills, 200 kills, where, where Whittle Wizard, say that three times fast, Whittle Wizard, Whittle Wizard, Whittle Wizard, anyway, Mastering significantly advanced culinary technology, more or less what this one does is after 40 kills with the staff, it's going to buff your staves, but not in the way that you think. It's actually going to make it so you have these different staves giving you different bonuses. Like for instance, spicy burns, mintiness slows, and sourness stuns. Each of them will increase depending on what phase you are in. So go out and get those kills. Next up, rock cracker. This is by killing rocks. Yes, killing rocks, not smashing rocks killing rocks. You don't smash rocks in this game. You kill them. Just remember that. Okay, so going through and smashing rocks with this one, it allows you to harvest pebbles faster. More or less, it makes you more efficient on whether or not you're smashing pebbles. I think it also works on clay as well, just as an FYI, but I think it's 25, 50, and 75 in order to get this one all the way up to level three. Cardio fan, this one's great. This one you get by just running. Over and over and over and over again. Exhausting your body over and over and over again is going to allow you to get ex hyper stamina and exhaustion recovery. What this does, hyper stamina allows your stamina to return all the faster from whenever you are sprinting or whenever you use it all the way. Or it, and when I mean by it return faster, I mean the little bar when it goes down and then starts to refill, it's faster. And what exhaustion recovery is, is when you use your stamina bar all the way. Now, this happens to be creative with bugs, so I won't be using my stamina bar. But when you use your stamina bar all the way, it is lowering that timer that it takes for that bar to refill. Okay, so what I mean is whenever you exhaust yourself, it waits a second or two, depending on what armor you have on. If you have on heavy armor, it could take up to five to ten seconds for that stamina bar to start to refill. So in other words, you have no stamina for a certain amount of time. That exhaustion recovery will help that be a less and less and less time, depending on what level your perk for uh, for the cardio fan is. 
Okay, next one. Truffle Tussle. Truffle Tussle is awesome. Truffle Tussle allows you to punch things and make them explode. AKA, whenever you're using melee fists and you're going through and punching things, you have a chance to cause a giant explosion like a bomb that happens whenever you're fighting things, whenever you're fighting hostile things. If you're going through and punching a wall or punching Wendell, you are not going to be able to get this perk to actually proc. But nonetheless, it's a fun one if you guys are looking to make an unarmed build. It is a necessity if you guys are going to be playing an unarmed build. In order to unlock this one, you need to kill the infected ladybug that is at the end of the haze base that is all the way over here inside of the haze. Right about there is where the entrance is, and you'll work your way down and fight a infected uh, ladybug. Be warned on wool mode, that is a huge pain in the butt. All right, so moving on here, let's go on and check out the next status that we have here, and that is the Shocking Dismissal. Shocking Dismissal, what this does is the same thing as Corporate Kickback, but instead of going through and giving you lifesteal, it makes you do a shock move that is a heck of a lot, like whenever you're using the Prod Smacker and you actually charge it up and end up hitting anything with it, it actually sends out a giant electric shock. The same thing happens with this Corporate Dismissal, but what that does, or shocking dismissal, sorry, what that means, I put those two together, that's awesome. What that means is as you block attacks, you're slowly going to build up a bar that's going to make it so you can do a um, another large shock attack like the ones that you could do with the prod smacker or the pinch whacker, one of the two. So really, it's up to you if you guys want to put this one on. Is it helpful? It can be if you're doing a Thor-like build where you want a lot of electric shocks. So that's shocking dismissal. The next one, Javelin Ear. This is the same thing as these, as all of these here. This one is is all about using spears though 40 kills with a spear increases your damage with a spear so and also spears have a chance to lower enemy armor so this is awesome it's literally going to lower their armor making it so you could do more damage to them that's what i mean by increasing your damage Going through, Parry Master is next. Parry Master is all about perfect blocking, y'all. Parry Master is important. It increases how easily it is for you to perfect block and how you're not going to take damage from perfect blocking, but you need to perfect block. I think it's 20, 50, and 100 times in order to unlock this all the way upgraded. So whenever you get through and do some Parry Master blocking. So whenever you go through, parry things out. You could do it. Perfect blocks are difficult. But if you block right as they're about to attack, it should help you guys most of the time. Okay, Ant Annihilator. This one is all about killing ants. It gives you ant defense and ant damage. This means ants are going to do less damage to you and you are going to do more damage to them. You do this by killing ants. This is really helpful if you're going to go take on any of the ants, including the black ants, the fire ants, or the standard red ants. It's still really helpful. Reliable Friend. Reliable Friend is there to give you revive speed. What I mean by revive speed is when a friend goes down, you can run over and pick them up. And with... Re with, uh, with Revive friend here, it's going to make it so you can go, a reliable friend, it's going to make it so you can revive them really, really fast. Literally, if you get this all the way upgraded, you can literally revive friends in like half of a second. It's super fast. You walk up and you're like, whoop, and they're back up. Okay. Guard dog. Guard dog is another one that's kind of a pain in order to get. In order to get this one, you have to defeat mixers. You have to do all of the mixers in order to get this one to tier three. You get the first tier though after defeating your first mixer, so it's not that bad. But what guard dog is, is it's super helpful for whenever you're doing base defense or mixer defense. So whenever you're defending something, it's very, very helpful. So go through, get this one if you guys are having a problem with the Java Matic. It will really help you guys out because it's going to make it so you do more damage while you're protecting these big old module mixers that are here. By the way, you can kill them if you want to. If you're mad at them or wanted to make the challenge more difficult for yourself, you can kill them yourself. Okay, moving on here, guys. We've gone through Guard Dog, so let's go on to Assassin, a fantastic perk for my favorite weapon in the game. That is is the little daggers that I use. Yes, this one is going to give your daggers even more of a chance to do bleed damage. So more damage over time. This is an essential. If you guys are wanting to do damage over time with daggers, this one is super helpful. Same thing as all these ones right here. Going through killing things with daggers is going to unlock higher tiers for you. Meat shield. You get this one from Burgle as well. This increases your max health. Super helpful if you are going to be playing in well mode or really any mode outside of mild. I use it in about 99% of the builds that I have made in this game. Use meat shield. All right, next one, coup de grace. Coup de grace is a fun one to get. 
Coup de Grasse, you need to go to a couple different areas in the game. You're going to need to go down and visit the Four Leaf Clover in order to get the first tier or well, one of the tiers. I'll say the one of the tiers because you can do these in either order. The second one is all the way over there on top of the picnic table that's over here. There's a D20 dice or a 20-sided die that is over there with, that, with a one. That is a critical fail in Dungeons and Dragons or Minotaurs and Myrmidons. What you need to do is you need to turn it over so it says 20 facing the sky. That is a critical success. So you'll be able to get Coup de Grasse Mark Two or the second tier, or just the other half of it, depending on if it's the first half or the second half that you have done. But no matter what, that's how you get both tiers. What that does is it increases the chances of you doing critical hits. So excellent skill. I use it all the time in almost every build as well. I constantly have it on. It's probably the most used or the second most used perk that I have besides meat shield because meat shield I never take off. Fresh defense. Fresh defense is a great perk for whenever you're wanting to go into the sandbox or go harvest coal. This skill right here gives you gas resist, burn resist, and sizzle protection. This means gas resist against stink bugs and also the haze. Burn resist against ladybird larva and from other things that cause burn to you. And sizzle protection, giving you the ability to block out the sizzle that is inside of the sandbox, that is inside of the charcoal bag that's over here, and the sizzle that the ladybird larva give you slowly over time as well. So, very helpful perk. In order to get this one, you need to eat mint pieces. If you eat five of them, you'll get up to tier two. So, it's I think it's one then five, then 10 in order to get it all the way to tier three. All right, this next one is Trapper Peeper. Now, a lot of people have been asking, how do you unlock this? Because I've unlocked it this way and I've unlocked it that way and I've unlocked it this way. It has been confirmed for anybody who has started a new game. It all involves your peeping and getting gold cards, okay? You need to get gold cards in order to unlock this. It is a pain in the butt. In order to get... To Trapper Peeper Tier 3, you need to get 59 gold cards. Now, that is almost every single creature in the game you need to get a gold card for. It is a huge pain, but I know you guys can do it. Just get on out there. In order to get gold cards, you just kill things, and that is how you unlock them. You just have to be lucky enough to get them. I think it's a 1% drop chance. And that's not 1% that builds over time. It's 1% every time you kill something. Okay, next one, Sharpshooter. Same thing as all of these, right? It's, it's all for bows, 40 kills with bows. You have a chance to pin targets down when using ranged weapons. That means that literally you're going to shoot them and then they won't be able to move for a second because you've rooted them to the spot with your arrows. That one, it's helpful if you have bows. Bufflongs, another one that you use by unlocking with Burgle. You get this one by going down and getting the Burgle chip that is in the middle of the pond that is right down right here. You need to unlock this with a key that is over here on the dark section of the pond. You'll go over here and you'll unlock it. You'll go to Burgle, 2500 raw science, and you will have Bufflongs. So Bufflongs is really helpful because it increases your overall stamina. It's going to make it so you have more stamina, max stamina increase. I like this one. Any two-handed weapon users in the game should use this skill. Next one, Juicy. You get this by going through and finding the juice boxes in the game. There's a bunch of them. There's a juice box that's right here. There's a juice box that's over here. There's a juice box that's in the hedge. There's a juice box that's in the haze. There's a juice box that's over here. There's a juice box that's up here. There's juice boxes freaking everywhere in this game. You get it by going and reading the side of the juice boxes. You need to take your camera and look at the side of the juice boxes. That's how you unlock it, okay? And what this does is it it gives you the moist perk. This makes it so your water goes down slower. So as you're running around, you will use more water as you consume your stamina from sprinting. But with this perk, it makes it so it doesn't go down as quickly. The next one. Spicy safety. This one you get by eating spicy candy bits. It gives you smashing and stabbing resist. This is an excellent perk for if you're ever going to fight the praying mantis because it does slashing and smashing damage. So just be careful. It's going to hurt. So you want to make sure that you have that perk on. All right. And lastly, guys, we have Mant Sterious Stranger. Mant Sterious Stranger you get from going into the Undershed Lab and killing the Mant. That's how you get it. What it does is it will randomly, when you are fighting, I don't know if I can get it to happen by fighting with Wendell here, but it will randomly perk so it makes it so as you're going through and fighting things, a Mant will literally appear 
at random and help you. It sucks though. He doesn't really ever come out. He has a chance to hurt you. And if he's not aggroed to something, he'll just kind of walk away. So it's not the best perk right now. It needs a buff, but with a buff, it could be really, really helpful. But guys, that is all of the perks. That is every single one of the perks that you can unlock in the game, how to unlock them, and if I like them. So to give you guys a quick overview, though, the perks that I really never take off are Meat Shield. I never take that one off. And Coup de Grass. I never take that one off. Both of those are super, super helpful in this game, and I would suggest that you guys all use them. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.